hi guys uh, welcome to the second part of sql injection so in the first part uh, what we have done is we identified how many columns are there in this table and now we'll be trying to figure out the table name of this particular table so we used a query um, in the previous video this one and uh, this resulted in something like this so we are getting all the possible results plus we are getting these numbers and these numbers they are representing the columns which are outputted to the user and to get rid of all this uh, what we can do is we can simply make this false and to make it false we can simply do it like this and one equal to zero so this query this will be always false and that means we won't get this uh, shut shit so let's try to execute this query and get the result so we get rid of all those extra stuff and now we can try to uh, print some uh, interesting stuff like uh, table name and all such so how to do it simply we know that in the title field second column is printed so in the, sec in the place of second column uh, what we can do is uh, we can try to print the table name from information schema so the the syntax is uh, like uh, this one uh, select union select one comma table name b4567 from information schema dot tables and what this query will do is print all the table names in the uh, database it will get loaded soon and okay it took some time because uh, it has a lot of uh, tables in the database so you can see these all are in the tables and uh, this is user privileges tables and users and this seems to be interesting users table so um, how can we put uh, um, how can we determine the columns in this particular table so um, that simple we'll use uh, where clause so where where table name equal um, users so and instead of printing table now we'll print columns here we also need to change it to column so what it will do is it will print all the columns from uh, uh, a table whose name is users so let's try try this query and see what the results are yes and yes we get it so the users uh, the users field the users table uh, it contains an id a login uh, password email secret and a lot more okay. now uh, what if we want uh, to print uh, these uh, login and password let's try to print this login and password so how to do it uh, that simple uh, uh, so to print uh, these uh, specific uh, column fields uh, from the user table uh, we can simply uh, use uh, a query like this select id login and uh, since the second uh, 
method and fifth field are displayed uh, to the user will put in id uh, login and password in these fields and will select it from the table users so let's try and uh, let's try and execute this query and uh, We try to execute this query. What's happening? Okay, uh, now we try to execute this query with hanging. I'm having work suit running in the background and might be that's creating a problem but uh, okay. I'm sorry, uh, my computer was hanged, so that's why I was having problems. But for now, the query is running, and we are getting this ID as one two three, and these are the usernames. Mine being at final boss, and this is uh, the default users B and A, and these are the passwords. And obviously, they are stored in hashed format. So that's it for this video. We can dump uh, the entire database like this, and I hope you like it and uh, we'll try to explore it further. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel at Thank you very much.